well greetings everyone and welcome back to another video in this video it brings me to a location that I filmed at probably a year or so ago and if you look over my shoulder those things back there should look familiar to you I am up here in Copley Pennsylvania at Sailors Park and those are the sailor kilns that are behind me there so I am up here today to do a meetup with JP videos and uh, he's having a get together here, a little meetup with uh, some of us. And we are going to be riding the Ironton Rail Trail on our electric scooters. And some have electric bikes or whatever. So um, Jay is not here yet. I am the first one here. I finally got my act together and was able to get here early. So um, just waiting for everybody else to get here there's going to be other youtubers here as well i'm not sure as to all who is coming yet but uh we'll find out once everybody gets here and everything and of course everybody that has a youtube channel that's here um their links to their channels will be down there in the description there at the bottom so it's a nice September morning. It should be pretty nice today for riding and everything. I'm excited to uh, ride this trail on the bike because I walked part of it when I was here the first time with the sidekick. But now we're going to ride the, uh, I believe we're going to ride the entire uh, trail and everything. So should be a fun day. All right, so RJ is here and we got our scooters set and ready to go. Um, Jay is now here and subscriber Dan made the trip in from Altoona to join us on this and Jamie Makin's also here so I'm not quite sure who else is going to show up yet but um, this looks like it's going to turn out to be a pretty fun day for all of us all right so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet but in case there's any confusion I am the guy you see on YouTube known as JP videos I know that was up in up in the air if that was uh, actually me or not but yes Sometimes I get mistaken for um, who was that? Bruce, uh, Bruce Willis, Vin Diesel, Goldberg. Goldberg. But yes, it is JP videos. Bruce Willis doesn't have a beard. Sometimes he does. But you call me J or JP. Those of you who are just meeting me for the first time, whatever's good for you. Okay. Uh, this is my first meetup event and only meetup event for this year. <laughs> and my only, I should say, my first ride along meetup event. So I'm glad to have you guys a part of it and that you're able to make it out today. I know. Doing a ride along event was kind of questionable if people are going to be able to attend because not everyone has bikes or scooters or whatever. He did show up just to say hello, but he doesn't have a bike with him today. But I do appreciate you coming out. Dan's got to rent it. No. <laughs> it's got a spare. If anyone has not For been on this trail, there is a lot to see, um, especially related to railroading history. And RJ does get credit for suggesting this location today because I want to do a rail trail. I didn't know what to do, and even though I've been here before, this place just slipped my mind. And he's like, how about Ironton? I'm like, yeah, that's great. So I had an epiphany. Yeah. <laughs> Once in a while, they actually really? work out. And what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be starting off going in this direction. Back here is going to be an old box car, an abandoned train bridge. And then we're going to be backtracking past the kilns, going in that direction. There's the caboose and a whole bunch of other stuff. Certain locations we're going to be stopping at to give people an opportunity to check it out, take pictures. All I ask is that when we do stop, pull off the trail or at least park to one side to leave the trail open for others. If we're going too slow or too fast, you guys are welcome to go at your own pace if you want to. Or if you don't want to do the entire route, which is going to be around eight miles round trip, you don't have to stick, stick with us, but at least let me know that you're leaving if you do so. There is no place to get food or drink along the way. The only thing close is a sheets a few hundred yards off the one section of trail. But there are port john bathrooms in various locations, so just plan accordingly if you have to go. Um, just yell. I gotta pee. Yeah, or go behind a tree, or you know, <laughs> hold on to a tree if you have to. You know. I've done that before. <laughs> uh, anything else? Um, any questions for anyone? Can we do like introductions, since some of us might not know each no. each other or anything? Why yeah. would we do that? That makes sense. Well, I know you guys, but just for my reference, I you know I know there's some other YouTubers here that I haven't met yet. So yeah, we've done that in the past, so we can just go around and just say your name. If you don't have a channel, you just say you know the area that you're from. But I'll start off. JP Videos. RJ78 Productions from over yonder. I'm Jessica. I have an Instagram. It's Keep Exploring Nature. Okay. Matt, uh, we live in Chester County. Way yeah. over yonder. Yeah, down down below me. <laughs> Way, 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 way over yonder. Over yonder. 
Steve, the anti-site railroad with the Sword Society. I don't have them. <laughs> Chris from Tamaqua, exploring with the coal cracker. I'm just Eric. The other Live in Tamaqua. The other coal cracker. So let me get this right. Your first name is just last name Eric. <laughs> Can we put him out in the hallway? <laughs> oh no! You just need to stay up that way. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. All right, Jamie Macon from right up the road in Northampton, Pennsylvania. Yep, and I'm Randy with Emerald Sound Productions, the one that you see the most in, other than him, in RJ's videos. So. Yep. What? I'm Bedjam from Reading. I do have a YouTube channel, but it's not an outdoors channel; it's a gaming channel. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. Thank you. All right. So, everyone about ready to go? Yep. All right, so we are off. Took off from the parking lot and we're going to be headed down here to check out a boxcar and some other things down here. Probably that old railroad bridge that you saw in my uh, other video when I was here the, um, the first time filming. Because this whole area down here is, uh, should be familiar over on the right here, which you might be able to see is that uh, truck that they have on display. And then over on the uh, left here is this other abandoned rail line, and I forget which one it is. I'll have to ask Jay because I can't think of it off the top of my head, but... This is really a nice ride through here. All right, so we're at our first stop, but right over here is the the line that I just talked about there. That I didn't know the name of. That is the old Lehigh Valley line, and then the D and L line is on the opposite side of the river. But we're going to. Uh, stop here at the first point of interest and walk back here there is an old box car in the woods back here that we want to check out all right so just walking back here and i can't remember if i photographed this when i was here the first time or not with the sidekick but there is an old abandoned uh box car that's sitting back here in the woods that we want to check out See the inside of. Is there any what in here? Any wood? Is there, is there any cans of beans in there? Jay's asking. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. I'm more of a chicken of the sea kind of guy. Star kissed. Mm. So yeah, here's a new thing from when I was here the other year and filmed. They have this information placard here. And right about here, there was a train station here, which would have been right in this area right here where I'm at now. So you guys can pause the video there if you want to read more about this. But we are going to continue down to the abandoned uh, bridge, that railroad bridge that goes across the Lehigh River will be the next stop.
All right, and we're coming up, you can probably see in the camera here, coming up on the next location. This, all right, so this is the old C&J Railroad Bridge that Jay was just talking about. That crosses over the Lehigh River. All right, so we climbed up on top of this bridge to give you a view here. And I'm pretty sure I filmed this. It was up on top here, but further down there when I was here with the sidekick. Oh, yeah, this is the old C&J line, which they still have the rails intact yet on here. trick to walking across these bridges is don't look down because there's the trail down below us all right so we're going to walk back here and uh, go across this other bridge, but yeah, you can still see the rails down here yet and the ties, but nature is reclaiming itself. And then over there, my other video, I filmed that, that's like the, the pit area over there where coal cracker is. But this here will take us back. And to the second bridge, it goes across the Lehigh River. All right, so we're walking across. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of heights. I'm staying on the main metal beam here. That seems to be my security. So yeah, I did not come this far out when I was here the first time, but uh, yeah, there's the view looking up north, looking up the Lehigh River, and there's a the view looking down. And it looks like there's part of the old bridge because this bridge we're standing on was washed out in a flood. I forget the exact date, but Jay had said, and down in there, it looks like there's a long piece of steel beam down there. So that could have been the original bridge that got washed out in the flood back in the day. All right, so here's another view of the, of the river. And looking over there, there's another part of the bridge laying in the river there from the original one. And there's downstream. And then looking here where I'm standing, all this, all the ties here are all charred. So this bridge was on fire at one time. Probably somebody up here messing around and set it on fire. But there's a view looking back to where we came from. This is great. I should have came out here the first time I was here. Then you can see over in the back there, the uh, rail, it looks like it curves a little bit there to the, to the left. This is so neat. I am loving this. Like a That's right. <laughs> the stuff like this too. Oh yeah. So RJ was telling me the bridge we just came across, there's a siding that came down here 
and crossed over here and went over there and went down into the yard that was here. And if I can find any old photographs as usual or aerial photographs that are decent, I'll insert them in the, um, in the video to show you. But this is one of the bridge abutments. And up top there, that is 1906 that is up there. All right, guys, so real quick there, and there'll be drone footage of this too. Either you already saw it or it'll be at the end of the video, but uh, these are the sailor kilns, and you know, this whole area up here was known as, um, uh, you know, cement capital up here with all the cement mills that were up here and the Portland cement and everything else. I'm not gonna go into detail with these because it's covered in my first video, and if you wanna see that video, it'll pop up there in the corner of the screen. So I just wanted to give you a, um, a shot of them real quick there's a board over here that we'll walk over to and uh, you can pause the video there and read the information on it so this board here is just telling you about the uh, preservation project to restore these kilns there's placards um, around here with uh, more information on them but like I said that's covered in my first video you can go back to and uh, check that video out there and see the information on these Yeah, he's mo he's motoring. I can't keep up with him. Snake in the grass. All right, so there is one of the old block phone booths, and still has a. Uh, the phone inside it there, and this was donated by original phone donated by Mike Bedner. And if you're not familiar with him, go on YouTube and check out John Pachulis Media, and in there you'll see a bunch of videos rail fanning with the Bedners. This was one of the phone booths they had along the rail up here. All right, so we're up here at the one crossing where I was at in my previous video because right across the street over there is the caboose. But I missed this the first time I was here because this is the old trolley line, trolley line bridge that went across here at one time, cross into the, the parking area that's over here, but they still have the uh, bridge abutments here and the rail that's up there is light rail, so it was only a trolley going on it, so they didn't need the heavy rail that they have today on the, uh, on the railroads or anything. But yeah, it went right across, and over there is the other bridge abutment that you can see. And then it went right through around these trees. And went into where this parking lot is over here.
All right, so here's a close up again of the caboose. I just want to give you a, give you a shot of it here. I'm not gonna go into detail or walk around that much with it here, but uh, just want to show it to you again because I covered this in my uh, previous video when I was up here the first time. All right, guys, so the gang's catching up there, and that bridge that you see up there is actually MacArthur Boulevard or Route 145 going up there, but I am here again at this um, old rail car that they're in the process of restoring, which I filmed before. And believe it or not, a year or two later, I'm here, and there is still a bee's nest over there in that corner of the, uh, the rail car there. So this is the old Egypt. Come here often. Yeah. So this is the old Egypt yard, and you'll see the up here. This trail that goes up here is where one of the uh, rail lines went up through there, and I'll show you the board again down here. And if I can find any better pictures, I will uh, put them in the video here for you. But this is the old uh, Egypt yard of the Arlington Railroad and there's a building down there that uh, that uh, I believe you can go into although I didn't find the entrance to it when I was here the first time and I'm not going down and going in it um, during the summer months but um, there you can see a picture of see there and here's some pictures of them restoring it and I think that bridge there was uh, taken probably from the bridge up there on Route 145. And then there's another bridge from the Route 145 because the car is right about here. And then this is where this line went up to the side that I just showed you there. And then the rail continued straight on. All right, so here is the inside of this building. I did find the door this time on the front and this is what the inside of this building looks like that I didn't get to see before. It does have an echo to it and the roof has definitely seen better days. A room back there. I think there's another way to get through part of the building here. Oh wow, there's like no in here or machinery in here yet. Yeah, there we go. There's coal crackers in here. And it looks like some kind of uh, grinder or something that they had for the, for here at one time, because there's a con conveyor belt that's coming out. So that looks like that could have been uh, some form of crusher. 
Looks like there's pulleys up there that they had some kind of machine hooked up to. But this is wild. Didn't get to see this the first time I was here, but get to see it this year. And unfortunately, I can't help of all the graffiti that's in here, but finally got to see the inside of the building. So here's more information on the, uh, the rail trail again. Has more about the, the mills here in the area. And you can pause the video if you wanna, if you wanna read this. And this is Egypt Yard. And there you can see the, there's the building I was just in. And right down here is where we're at now at the firehouse. And the firehouse is right there and established in 1891. I'm not going to go in it or anything because I already did this previously in another video. But there it is once again. Good morning. 